Tracking Tropical Storm Elsa, the National Hurricane Center's latest advisory has strengthened the storm a bit and it's one to watch with parts of Florida in that cone of concern. Weather well, Authority has been monitoring Elsa for days. Let's get right to it with Rich, uh, with Rich. Still a great deal of uncertainty, Rich, but we need to watch this system. And that's why, because of the uncertainty, you got models that are aiming toward the Gulf, some that wash it out, and others that are going to the Atlantic. And the National Hurricane Center is favoring the GFS in that approach to the Gulf. You mentioned a little stronger. Barometric pressure is the same. Forward speed is picked up by three from 25 to 28, but the wind did accelerate a little bit, and we've moved out of the single digits here on the north, which was a nine. Now we're up to 10, so we're seeing a north movement plus that westerly movement. So let's put the confusion here into play and as you can see this is still the spaghetti plot and the GFS is just to the west of where the National Hurricane Center is which is kind of what we were explaining this morning that it looks like with the Canadian coming into South Florida and the Euro at one point washing out and then trying to come up as some sort of circulation around the high pressure that still dominates uh, areas out toward Bermuda that might be why we're going to see the uh, swaying 